Hey everybody, welcome to the video, and uh, I posted something on my Instagram recently saying that I really love Blender 2.83 LTS, and everybody was like, whoa, what's that? And I'm like, long-term support. They're like, you should do a video about that, so I'm gonna do a video with all the new things that come with uh, the new Blender 2.83. And first, we're going to start with um, Ian Hubert's uh, scene here. Um, you can always download the splash screen uh, from the new Blender uh, splash screen, uh, which is the screen that initially pops up. Let me show you guys. This thing right here, this scene is literally what I'm about to show you right now. And uh, I'm just going to disable the volumetrics here so we can get it out of the way. But if we go into rendered view, this is all in Eevee and all this is uh, absolutely beautiful and it looks even better uh, with some of the compositing that he has here. But I just wanted to take a little tour around this place because it looks just completely amazing. And one thing you'll actually notice is um, I'm actually getting new to the uh, controls here, guys, since I was still using the 2.9 controls. Uh, but if I want to do tutorials, my screencast keys have to be accurate to new users. So everything looks freaking amazing here, dude. It's just absolutely wonderful. And there's some photo scan models here. And you would think everything would be uh, super accurate, but like, you know, a bunch of tries here, just looking looking um you know and not that accurate you couldn't just put this on on um as a model by itself but uh it, it looks um it, it looks great in the scene so from behind you know it doesn't really matter if everything just looks good uh so yeah this is really not the bumpy geometry i would expect to see here but it works you know so why not use it um and if we explore the rest of the scene here, one thing that I've really liked is the use of just PNG images to represent smoke here. You can see, let's go over here. A little smoke, boom, 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 right over here. Yeah, look at this, you got some smoke. I can move it around, you'll see the smoke right here. Um, only amplified by the light that's coming in. But one thing I've used recently um, in my most recent render is just smoke like transparent videos you, you don't necessarily have to create a whole smoke simulation that looks accurate and add all these force fields and stuff like that you just take transparent videos and slap it on it and you know match it to the camera rotation if you have to but that's that's about it and it's it's really super fun and uh beautiful and i love it a lot because it saves a lot of time and uh you got these little photo scan 3d 3D guys here, they're looking pretty cool. If we go into rendering mode, we have a whole wrestler here, which you can't really see in the splash screen. Um, but yeah, that's that's really cool. And I don't know if anybody's gonna get mad at me because of this, but uh, if we go into fly mode here, and if we look around this corner, he leaves a little secret message. <laughs> uh, the secret bar here, only cool people can find it, so you must be cool, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, I thought this was hilarious. Um, so lots of great techniques being used here for the splash screen. Everything loads super quick in Eevee, which is abs absolutely unbelievable. I've had scenes much smaller than this that take a lot longer to load. And uh, it's just because I don't have any of my stuff optimized. But this is this is optimized. It's Everything's looking good. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this new uh, splash screen. And if we go into uh, any of the... Any of the textures here let's just click on this big wall here and we go into shading you can see that it's really not that complicated here you know rgb curves uh for some of the stuff and really that's that's just about it so you can mess around with rgb curves and it's just an image uh generally one one thing that i did when i started in my whole blender career is i i thought i had to download a a roughness map, an albedo map, a, a normal map. I thought I had to download all of this stuff just to make it look realistic. Yeah, no, I'm sure some of this would look uh, a little bit more realistic if it had a roughness map and albedo map, but that that doesn't really matter because it looks good enough, right? It tricks all of our eyes. We can think it's a real scene. So why would we spend all this time plugging our roughness and albedo and tweaking all that stuff if we can just do one nice little image texture here into an RGB curves, mess around with the principal BSDF shader a little, and boom, we get what we want here. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. And um, I'm actually subscribed to uh, Ian Hubert's Patreon. It's such a good investment. If you guys want to check that out, uh, I have the $7 a month plan and I'm just learning so much more than I previously have. It's just super amazing. I'll definitely check that out. But um, just the creation of all this stuff is like unbelievable. And um, 
it I'm, can be thrown together pretty quick just because you don't have to plug in all those different maps and you can reuse textures. I'm sure the modeling took a while, but um, one thing you'll see often is it's super easy to reuse a bunch of assets without them being that prevalent in the scene. Like these boxes here, used there, used over here. Um, so yeah, you can actually um, just take a look here, explore. And this stuff looks like it was literally like meant to be in here, but no, it's just one little image and it's modeled around it to suit the image here. Uh, so all this stuff is just unbelievably cool and that's it for the video. I mean, I don't really have a lot to say. The water texture is here, um, it's cool. I will definitely leave a download link in the description so you can download this. I'll actually just leave a link to uh, where you can download everything uh, relating to Blender 2.83 and previous versions. So you can just go in and explore the just the complexity of, uh, of all the new splash screens here and what it actually takes to have a nice scene like this. And uh, I love the volumetrics here. Let us scroll down. Actually, we'll just go into the layout. I really like the volumetrics here. Boom. Volumetrics just add a little nice little fog to the scene. And one thing that he does that's super cool. Uh, this is only going to take 10 seconds to render. I've test rendered it before. If we hit F12 and uh, we're in Eevee now, so it's not going to show any of the tiles until it's done rendering here. Then it's going to apply the composition. This is what it looks like normally. And then boom. Look at that. Got a nice little fog glow. Fog glow can really benefit your scene. And uh, you can see the nice smoke down here. And it has this really, really cool um, grain effect. I've realized that uh, natural, natural grain or natural noise isn't really good in your scene because it doesn't make it look professional, but then re-adding um, something like noise that would only cover the soft light in your scene or something like that. Uh, it's a, something used in Photoshop sometimes, but just this little green, uh, I guess, hue here along with the orange colors really, really have a good contrast. And then the, um, just changing, uh, changing it so uh, it's it's more of a natural grain, uh, or not a natural grain, more of a, uh, I guess, man-made grain, just slapping that on there. It actually makes it look uh, really good, because we can go into the compositing here. Let's do that real quick. Boom. <laughs> I remember when I said that's it for the video? Yeah, me neither. Um, <laughs> where's the grain here? There it is. So we can just take this guy out, right? And then go here. And then under view. The scene looks, you know, it still looks pretty cool. Um, let's go under the rendering here. We'll go to the viewer. Yeah, the scene still looks pretty cool, but like it just gives it a whole different vibe when you slap that grain on, when you slap that grain on there. So like, I don't know, it's just, it darkens everything up a little. It just, I don't know, it kind of balances everything out. And it's definitely obvious. You can like definitely see the grain in here, but it's just, it looks pretty amazing and uh, I'm liking it a lot so that's that's just a really kind of unique thing that Ian Huber does with lots of his stuff and it just gives it this little unique look and um, yeah so this is actually the end of the video uh, just a few things I wanted to cover like you don't need to go super in-depth for texturing uh, especially if it's gonna slow down a lot of things make sure you optimize your scene and um, photo scans can be used and everything doesn't have to be 100% realistic to have an amazing scene like this. I mean, it was so good that it was put on the Blender splash screen. So uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm definitely going to do more reviews. This is just a warm up. I'm going to do more reviews on all the other features, including the cloth brush, including the AI accelerated denoiser, which I don't know how I'm going to do because I don't have the right graphics card for it. Um, I'm going to do um, reviews on the uh, specific sampling here. Uh, what is it called? The tr 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 adaptive sampling. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be so excited for it. And uh, I'm going to be doing uh, more reviews on the imported uh, smoke effects, all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope everybody has a great day. Definitely download this file and check it out if you're interested. All this stuff is for free on blender.org and I'll leave a link down in the description. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a sit back, chill video. More videos to come, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a good day.